So here we are in this festive season, rush, 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 go, 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 perhaps not even finding time for yoga. Um, what used to be easy to take an hour out is really just impossible now. We are perhaps operating from a fairly empty tank. You know, I talk about the love tank often. Um, and there are seven days now until Christmas and I'm so excited to share these videos with you because I'm going to be sharing some content over the next seven days to help you remain sane, okay? It's like my duty of care here to help you to therefore better serve this community. So, stop right now, whatever it is that you're doing. If you're watching this, you need to keep watching this, okay? Trust me, I'm going to teach you some really powerful tools that you can use over these coming days in the lead up to Christmas because it's a, I know it's, it can be quite a stressful time for a lot of you so that you can become grounded right within an instant second. Yes, it is possible. Okay, so like I said, stop whatever you're doing. Stop right now. Take a comfortable seat somewhere. And take some deep breaths. Mm -hmm, really filling up the belly and exhaling. A couple more breaths with me, inhaling. You can close down your eyes perhaps. You know, year after year, I even notice at the studios that December is a quieter, typically a quieter month. Yet, we're typically busier okay so we as much as we need this practice we need to take the time out for ourselves so this is why i've created these seven tips that lead up to to yoga to christmas um yoga tools that can help you stay grounded and um, sane through this silly season so the first one is um a visualization so what i want you to do is to close down your eyes and to visualize yourself on Christmas Day. People tend to get really anxious in the lead up to Christmas, um, thinking about perhaps how it was last year or how you would like it to be or um, how people are going to re react, okay, and, and things are going to be said, especially when there's alcohol around and that sort of thing. So as I keep reiterating to you in, in, in the classes at the moment through this December period, remember that you are responsible for you. Okay, you can't change anybody else, okay? You can shine your light, but you can only change the way in which you respond, the way in which you show up. Okay, so I want you to visualize yourself now. It's Christmas Day, see wherever it is that you are, okay? And, I want, and it, it might be that you're on your own, okay? And maybe you're, you're feeling some feelings around that as well. Whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, okay, that it's causing you this stress right now, please start to visualize exactly how you would like it to be, okay? And exactly how you would like yourself to be. Non-reactive. So see perhaps a situation where it might cause stress or conflict or whatever it might be, and just notice your breath, yeah? Where we would usually shorten and turn in or get defensive, yeah, I want you to take some really deep flowing breaths. Okay, and just let things just wash over you. Not that you're not caring, it's like not reading the newspapers every day and, and letting that absorb into your being. You still care, okay, you still become informed, but you don't take on that burden. So same with on Christmas Day, you know, just let things just wash over you. Now see yourself vibrant, happy, healthy. Notice the water that you're, you're drinking, the healthy foods that you're choosing to eat, the, the conversations that you're having with others and notice how present you are with them. And you're doing that by breathing really deeply. So breathe right into the base of your belly, this diaphragmatic breathing that everyone's talking about that yogis have been doing for five, over 5,000 years. You can do that anytime, okay? Breath is really deep and that way you stay grounded and you remain present. Okay, so if you're doing nothing else, you're just focusing on these deep inhalations and exhalations. You're present with the company around you. And you're choosing, you're actually consciously choosing your state. How would I like to be right now? Am I waiting for something 
Am I looking back and reflecting or am I completely present? And when we start to observe the thoughts and our habits and through our activities, that's when we start to become mindful. Okay, so that's when we talk about these mindful tips for the silly season is when we become mindful of ourselves. I feel like so many people are able to show up to yoga and, and apply the yoga in their lives and come December and so much of that goes out the window. Then everyone wants to start New Year's resolutions in January and Feb fast and whatnot. But why can't we do this and have this now? People tend to write off the month so quickly. Okay, oh, it's December, I'll catch up and I'll be healthy next year. No, be that person now. Choose your state in this very, very moment. You're visualizing this beautiful, amazing, authentic version of yourself on Christmas Day with this breath. Feet grounded into the earth, or perhaps you're sitting down, but you're, you're, you're earthed. Yeah? You can do this. I know you can. Think positive thoughts. Positive things will happen. Remember, our innermost thoughts become our outermost reality. A pleasure as always sharing these yogic tools that have certainly helped me get by Christmas after Christmas. I look forward to hearing all of your stories. Feel free to comment below and let's all keep ourselves sane and grounded for the benefit of everybody else through this silly season. Namaste.